Hi everyone, Neil O'Donnell here again thanks to the sponsorship of Hub.Careers, your online resource to address every career question you can think of. And today I just wanted to go over a really important topic that impacts all of us when it comes to our long-term career goals. And that's in regards to retirement, uh, affording homes, cars, our long-term sustainability with regards to our income. And when I was young and I pictured my life beyond high school and college, I pictured signing up for a job, staying there for 30 to 40 years and retiring. That's what I assumed would happen. And that is definitely not what has occurred in my lifetime alone. And for most of my clients and my friends and my family members, that's rarely what people encounter. Things such as changing economies, so layoffs occur, people get fired, uh, for whatever reason. Uh, thankfully I haven't been fired, but I have been laid off. And I can tell you that it took me off guard, to say the least. But let's just pretend that, in fact, I did sign on to one job, and I stayed there for 30 to 40 years, and then I retired. the likelihood is that the pay increases that I had over time would not have really amounted to much. And so I would have ended up after 30 to 40 years with little to no pay increase to speak of and little to no change in benefits, which includes retirement benefits. What this all boils down to is what is going to happen for those of you who are expecting to make huge advances in your salary and to be able to get new and better perks, whether it's a retirement benefit or it's more in vacation time, staying in one place, one job for a lifetime is likely not going to allow that to happen. With that in mind, this video today is me simply giving you the advice that after you've put in a few years at a job, it is probably a good thing to consider what is the next step. Do I have advancement potential at the current company I'm at? Is there a managing position that I can get into? Is there a senior level position that maybe doesn't have a management component to it, but it's going to be a, a decent pay raise and provide more benefits? If your company doesn't offer that opportunity, then it's probably worth your while, in fact it's truly worth your while, to start looking at other companies and making a, a, a job change. That is not an easy thing, it is a very scary thing to consider, but over the long haul, if you are going to make substantial gains in your income, you are likely going to have to leave a company that you're at and go to a new company and accept a higher position. That is really the best way to ensure that you are making good gains in salary and you are finding the best long-term and short-term benefits that you can possibly get. This includes retirement packages. I know that this is not an easy decision. I have a lot of anxiety, and when I made a big change a few years ago, it, it, was, it was good for my career, and it happened to be switching from a job I love to my dream job, but I was nervous, extremely nervous to say the least. Everything has worked out, but I had to take that leap of faith. I had to take that risk. If you don't take risk, you are going to end up staying in the same job, making real no advances in salary, and it's going to impact you long term. So in a nutshell, after three, maybe four years of work at a place, take an assessment. An assessment of where you can go in that company and what other options you may have that offer better opportunity.
definitely something to keep in mind. And if you have any questions, and if you're nervous about this type of transition, what I would recommend is that you reach out to a career counselor or a career coach. And oftentimes, if you graduated from a, a career college or from a college or university, oftentimes their alumni association or their career development center will assist alumni in working out these types of decisions. Okay, It's worth it to give them a call and to seek somebody's advice as you try and negotiate this type of career move. Again, this is Neil O'Donnell. Um, thanks to the sponsorship of Hub Doc Careers, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.